So if you'll state your name and your council district, please. Good evening. My council district is eight. My name is Heather Pachatsko, and I currently reside at the Beridian Apartments in Lexington in the eighth district. From December 24th through December 31st, my unit was uninhabitable as a result of not having access to running water. I, as well as countless other residents, were left with no communication from property staff via email or our resident portal. I am here today with Kentucky tenants to share my story so that you know how landlords are treating the residents in our community and to encourage you to pass a tenant's bill of rights to better protect renters like me. For seven days, I found myself calling the office for an update on our water. On Tuesday the 27th, I spoke with an office employee who quickly refused to provide accommodations such as hotel or a concession on our rent. I read to him KRS 383.595, which states that landlords are responsible for always providing running water and ample amounts of hot water. He agreed with the statute, but again stated that the Viridian was not going to provide any accommodations for the residents. As I was responding back, he hung up the phone on me. I was so angered and taken aback by this interaction that I couldn't concentrate on my job duties at work. So I asked to leave soon after my conversation with that employee ended. When I returned home, I packed up my dogs and took them to boarding. Trying to keep up with their water demands as well as my own triggered a great amount of anxiety and exhaustion. My dogs remained in the kennel for three days. On the evening of the 28th, I called the office again for an update. I was told, we don't know when it will be back on, but we have two one gallon jugs of water at the office for each apartment. You have to come to the office today to get them. After four days of no running water, their efforts of accommodation with two one gallon jugs of water allowed for the toilet to be flushed once. If you ask me, farm animals receive far better treatment than we have. These efforts were degrading. On Friday the 30th, I met with two office staff who again refused to provide any meaningful help. As I stood up to leave, I voiced how horrible of a living experience I have had at the Viridian, from unprofessionalism of the office staff, to maintenance's outright avoidance of fixing repairs, both past and present, to office staff's demeaning comments during a lockout situation. The woman responded with, and I quote, I don't care, I honestly don't care about your experience. You chose to live here, you chose to sign that lease. It's not my problem." End quote. I left the office seeing red. She didn't treat me like a human being. She showed no care, no compassion, and no desire to help. I left the office feeling trapped in a place I no longer wanted to be. This isn't home anymore. Water was restored to my apartment on December 31st. The way this situation has been handled is disgusting, and I am one of the lucky ones who only went without water. My heart goes out to those in condemned apartments, those who have had to remain in horribly damaged units, those who were unable to receive at-home medical treatment, those who I've seen hauling off ruined property to the dumpster, and those who have received eviction notices taped right next to condemnation letters. What happened from December 24th through the 31st has caused myself a lot of fear. Fear of retaliation, fear of inaccurate rental history when I attempt to secure other housing, and fear that there are other landlords out there that behave similarly to those at the Viridian and its parent company. My story and my fears prove why we need a tenant's bill of rights and stronger tenant protections in Lexington. We didn't deserve this treatment and no one else does either. A landlord registry would better hold landlords like mine accountable. A right to counsel would ensure that my neighbors who received eviction notices get a fair hearing in court. Stronger anti-discrimination protections for tenants during the housing search process would ensure that tenants like me worried about their rental history can still find a good place to live. Guaranteed seats for renters on city boards and commissions would ensure that people like me who are living through the worst impacts of landlord negligence and mistreatment have a say in the political decisions that most affect us. Please pass a tenant's bill of rights for me and the thousands of other tenants like me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next is Alfred House, I believe, or Hayes. Hayes, I apologize. No problem. I've had that pronounced and spelled so many different ways over my life. <laughs> Welcome. Well, my name is Alfred Hayes, and I'm not sure what my district is, so I apologize for that. Um, I'm also not as polished speaking because I had to hurry up and run home and 
um, <clears throat> after doing various things, see, because I am a landlord. Um, and what I was doing today was getting rid of a whole bunch of trash that was left over after one of my tenants skipped out on me. Um, that's after uh, looking at a situation where I need a plumber and I can't find one. So what are we supposed to do when we can't find a plumber? I'm stuck. I'm with you guys. You need water, but I'm stuck. You guys talk about um, building community and all that. I want to build a community. Can you, can, can you tenants help us? Here's what it's going to look like. No one likes an absentee landlord. I don't like it. I hate looking at buildings like that. I've called landlords where I know their property manager. I found their cell phone number, called them, and said, look, your gutter's hanging down. Fix it. I don't like that. No one likes crime. Report it if you see it. We're not around all the time. I know my tenants see stuff and they're not saying anything. Please help us clean up the neighborhoods. Trash. Thank you for passing this trash thing. Trash day drives me nuts. People don't close their bags. Trash flows all over. Who picks it up? Me, the landlord, because it's not the tenant's responsibility, because they're not the one who put it down there because they're not the one who overfilled their neighbor's trash or they're not the one who filled up their own trash. I've dealt with sticky carpet where it wasn't worth my time anymore to pick up money. I've dealt with babysitting issues where one tenant complains about the other constantly, walking too loud, all that, instead of just discussing with each other. Pets that have been snuck in, significant others that have been snuck in. This is stuff us landlords have to deal with. We don't like it, help us. You know, be, be good tenants, help us be part of the community. And I wanna say one other thing, the, someone mentioned on the news about con, like 90% of landlords have lawyers representing them. We're forced to, by Kentucky law. We have to, if the building is in the name of a company, we have to have legal representation. I don't want it. I would happily waive it, but they won't let me. So please, help us fix that and you won't have as many landlords having representation. I guarantee it. We like a lot of the same things you like. We want a lot of the same things you want. We wanna make this Lexington better. It's not us and them, it's not us and you. It's not us against the, the council. We're the city of Lexington. Let's step up and act like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next is 